Hello everyone, this is Midas Touch. I hope that all is well. And today I'll be doing the next 72 hours for all earth signs. This may pertain your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. Please check the comment section for the timestamp of your um, zodiac sign. Please hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you and let us begin. Well, hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Taurus. Let's see what is the energy surrounding you for the next 72 hours. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what's the energy surrounding Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next 72 hours? What's the energy surrounding Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next 72 hours? Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. So the first card that came out for you, you have the Eight of Cups, the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands, as well as the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. Okay, let us see what's going on with you, Taurus. So for the next 72 hours with the Eight of Cups coming out in your reading, a lot of you are cutting your losses with situations that are no longer benefiting you. This could be you cutting off toxic habits or cutting off um, dead ends or routines that you're tired of doing. You could hate your current nine to five. So you're cutting that off as a loss. You're planning to completely walk away with the um, eight of cups energy coming out. I am feeling that there is a particular Taurus. You're being forced to let go of something or someone that has been a big burden or a big disappointment for you. This could be you just actually letting go of your worries, no longer deciding to worry. This could also be you making a conscious decision to completely let go of any unforgiveness or um, resentment that you hold towards another water sign man or woman, such as a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And the fact that the Eight of Cups card came out as well as the Seven of Cups card, this is you actually also for a particular Taurus. This is you deciding to cut off any temptation at this time. I am picking up on a Taurus. You're fighting to... Um, overcome some sort of addiction or a temptation. This could be due to the fact that this person, you love them wholeheartedly, you care about them, but you realize that they're not good for you. This doesn't have to be a romantic person. This doesn't have to be someone that you are currently romantically involved with. This could just be a friend or associate that you're realizing they're not good for you. And Every time they come around, you always find yourself in situations where you're contemplating or wondering why did I even go out with this person or why did I even allow this person to convince me to change my mind or to make me to do something that I really didn't want to do, but I just wanted to go along and be a good friend. Mm. And the fact that this card, it shows a man, right? You don't have to be a man. You could be a woman watching this video, but it shows a man. He's more focused on the cup or the bowl with a ladder. So I feel some of you, you want to actually ascend in life. However, you have a snake in the grass that is going to hinder you if you're not careful. If you don't separate yourself from these... um toxicities or this toxic person or even this addiction is going to cause a major hindrance and a major blockage for you because the snake right here is very apparent but for some reason this person is focusing on how they can move up in life but they're not being cognizant of 
the snake that is surrounding them. There is someone untrustworthy or there's someone that you need to rid out of your life completely. I am feeling like you guys, if you haven't made that decision, you're going to make your mind up or you're going to be heavily in your thoughts with the seven of wands card within the next 72 hours of completely walking away from this individual. So with the seven of wands in your reading, I am feeling like you guys are going to be focusing on how to guard yourself more. You're going to be prioritizing your peace. You're going to be focusing on your solitude. I do feel someone meditating. You're going to be going to prayer or you're going to be tapping into your intuition regarding this individual because you're realizing this is just the end. It has to be the end. For some of you, you may be stuck in a rock in a hard place, not knowing what decision to make, but something is going to lead you to make the decision to completely cut off this person or this toxic habit or addiction because it's robbing you of your peace. It's robbing you of everything that you know that you deserve. You cannot go to higher heights with this individual in your life or in your energy, you cannot go to higher heights with this addiction. I don't know who this is for, but this will speak to you and your situation. If it doesn't resonate, that's fine. Please watch another um, Zodiac sign to see if that resonate. Now, as far as other energies that I'm picking for you, Taurus, within the next 72 hours, I'm feeling that with the um, Knight of Pentacles card, you guys truly, truly are seeking to expand your finance or expand your, I am feeling finance, but I'm also feeling someone that you have finance, you know, money is coming in, but you want to increase it. So yeah, of course, so that would be your finance, but it's not in the sense where you're broke. There is someone you're not broke, but you're not completely happy with what you have. You feel that you can have more and you will have more with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles coming out in your reading. There is going to be a new opportunity that is offered to you or you're seeking or currently you're seeking and currently wanting a newer opportunity. Now, for someone else, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, I was speaking about a relationship. So I feel for a particular Taurus, you go back and forth with ending this friendship or this relationship because you feel like this person doesn't have anyone else but you. So you feel that it's worth fighting for. It's worth to stick it out in the long run. Uh, okay, it's because I'm hearing someone saying it's worth fighting for. I know they're not perfect, but I'm, I'm going to fight it with them in the long run. I just need to be more patient with this person. It is your life. I can't tell you what to do, but if you feel that this person is worth fighting for, then that's up to you, Taurus. However, I am hearing that you're going to be fighting a lot for this person because this is someone that is set in their ways. They don't see any error in their ways. They they honestly don't think that there's anything truly wrong with them. And that's a problem in itself. So these are the energies that I'm feeling. I did pick up on water signs and fire sign, such as Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, as well as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Take what resonates, Taurus. Leave what doesn't. And please also watch the video for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Well, hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Virgos. Let us see what is the energy surrounding you within the next 72 hours.
Keep in mind that this is just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave what does not, and let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what's the energy surrounding Virgo within the next 72 hours? Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay, so you have the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, the Five of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Swords card. So as far as the energy that surrounds you within the next 72 hours, I am filling with the um, Ace of Swords card. You guys are going to be... Um, receiving some sort of communication. This could be a new idea. This could also be some sort of revelation or clarity that you receive regarding something that you've been contemplating or been worrying about or something that you have been concerned about within the next 72 hours. So this clarity that you receive, it could be something that has been a long time coming regarding this clarity. This could have been something that you were not sure of in regards of a person or a situation and bada bang, bada boom, it gets revealed to you and you're like, aha, uh -huh, now I know. Now I see things for what they truly are pertaining this situation or person. Now, the fact that the justice card came out in your reading, Virgo, I am feeling for some of you, this would be good news in regards to this justice that you receive. This would be the scales balancing out for you. This could be something that would be fair for you. So with this clarity or good news that you receive, it's something that is going to be refreshing for you to hear this good news within the next 72 hours. This could be pertaining legal matters for those of you that have to go to court or have to take something, someone to court, or for those of you that are considering hiring a lawyer, there will be some sort of good news or communication that you receive pertaining this. So you have the Ace of Swords, the Justice card, and the Five of Cups card. Mm. Oh, we. So, what I'm feeling is that someone thought that they were going to get away with something, and the universe decided to step in and say, Not so fast especially with the Five of Cups card being here. This is a card of sadness, disappointment, and loss. For some of you guys, you could have been in a situation where someone took something from you where they could have tried to shortchange you and the universe is going to allow the scales to be balanced the universe and God is going to make things right in your favor. This is for those of you Virgos that did not do anyone wrong. And I'm talking about the Virgos that are mature, not the Virgos that throw rocks and hide the hand. I love my Virgos, but I have Virgo relatives that do the throw the rock and hide the hand. And they think that they're not going to get caught. So if you are on the side of the scale where you did not do anyone wrong, I see that the scales are going to be balancing out from you. And the people that thought that they were going to take from you energetically, physically, or spiritually, they're going to be dealt with and they're going to experience a loss and they're going to feel what you felt with the Five of Cups card. Now you also have the Two of Pentacles card. This is something that could have been pertaining a friendship, a relationship, or a partnership. I am feeling that someone is still saddened regarding a decision that someone made towards them or a choice that someone made towards them. Someone is still saddened about this and they're still incredibly hurt or disappointed. If this is not your energy, this could be the energy of the person that is um, dealing with you 
or the person that is separated with you that you're not on speaking terms, they feel that you fumbled them or you feel that they fumbled you and someone made a bad choice thinking that if they went elsewhere, they were going to experience better treatment, they are sadly mistaken. Now, with the Two of Swords card coming out and you're reading, yeah, it's like one person in this reading feels like they're in the wrong and another person feels like they're in the right. So I'm feeling like this is how the person feels about you. They feel that you are the one to blame. They feel that it was all your fault. You did not see the value in them, which is kind of crazy because I'm picking up on someone saying they have a lot of nerves to feel that way when I was nothing but good to them, when I was nothing but kind to them. So this is the energy that I'm getting. So whatever communication or clarity that you receive if it's pertaining court I do feel it being good news now I'm also feeling to tell someone you're going to have front row seats to witness someone get karma who did you wrong it's like you're going to have front row seats it could be also someone coming back to you and telling yo I seen such and such the other day and they are not doing well. I remember they had put you through hell and they're not doing well. It looks like karma is getting the best of them. Mm. So that's the energy that I'm picking up for you. If this reading did not resonate for you, Virgos, please also watch your sun, moon, rising if you know the zodiac sign for that. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Thank you so much. I would greatly appreciate it. Bye-bye. Well, hello, my lovely, beautiful, and handsome Capricorns. I hope that all is well. Keep in mind, this is just a general message, so not everything will resonate. Take will resonate. Leave with us not, and let us begin. Spirit of Divine Light and Guardian Angels, what's the energy surrounding Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus within the next 72 hours. Please speak through me and through the cards for the viewers. Please also protect me and the viewers from all harm. Thank you. Okay, so you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, the Nine of Wands, okay, as well as the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Cups. So within the next 72 hours, hmm, okay, let me, within the next 72 hours, with the first card coming out being the seven of pinnacles, I am feeling to tell someone to practice more gratitude or more patience. And I'm also feeling someone say patience is truly a virtue and I am on my last leg with patience. I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of not seeing the fruits of my labor. I'm tired of giving my all into um, situations that are not really flourishing. However, I do feel that there is going to be a turnaround for you. And that's the thing about blessings and manifestation. It's almost as if every time something good is about to come in for you, you go through the hardest temptation, you go through the hardest obstacles. It's just like, <laughs> it feels like everything is coming down all at once. And then finally, you receive that manifestation or blessing. I'm picking up that this could be someone's test of faith to see are you truly, are you truly believing God in the universe that he's going to come through for you even when you don't see it. Hmm. Now, the other energy that I'm picking up for you with the Queen of Pentacles card this is going to be something that is going to be very abundant for you. Whatever it is that you are praying for or believing God for, it's going to be extremely abundant for you. And it's going to have you in a place where you're going to feel as if you can kick your legs up 
kick your legs up or actually take a final, well, not a final, but actually take a big sigh of relief. Like I'm feeling an overwhelming feeling of peace that surround this person who was robbing Peter to pay Paul, not knowing how ends were going to be met. But with the Queen of Pentacles coming out in the reading, it's confirming that someone is going to be well off with whatever blessing that they're going to receive. It's going to have you set or content in your spirit. You're, like, you're not going to have to want for nothing. Whatever it is that you're truly believing and asking the universe for, they're going to deliver. But it's telling me to tell you to practice more gratitude, practice more patience. And for someone, it's like, how much patience can I practice? I have been patient. I'm kind of frustrated because I'm seeing everyone. And there is someone, oftentimes you go back in your head about living an honest life because you're seeing all these false people not living right. And it seems like they're winning. Well, that's what it seems like on the surface. If only you knew that they're about to face their biggest doomsday ever. If only you knew that things are about to shift for them and you're about to get your due diligence due to your faith and your heart. You are someone that is incredibly down to earth. You would take the shirt off your back and give it to someone. I don't know who is that particular Capricorn, but boy, oh boy, if you could do that for someone, you really have a heart of gold. Now, the other energies that I am feeling for you, Capricorns, I am feeling like you guys are going to be completing something. You guys are going to continue to fight the fight to complete this. You're not going to give up. Even though you may want to give up, you're still going to fight the fight with the Nine of Wands card, which is a card of being determined and actually not backing down, not laying down. You're not going to lay down. You're going to fight because you feel in your spirit that something is going to come, even though you may question the when, the where, and the how, but you feel is going to come. You also have these other energies, which is the Knight of Swords energy. This could be another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This person... They are very daring. They're very daring. This could also be your energy, right? Because you are an energy that doesn't like to back down. You like to take chances. You like to take necessary chances. You don't like to take gambles where you'll sit back and say, man, why the hell did I do that? You don't like to take those type of chances. But yes, you may have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius somewhere in your chart as well, because I am feeling someone is not going to back down. They're going to continue to be ambitious and continue to be hopeful and faithful towards this desire Someone is incredibly committed to believing that God is going to come through for them. And this card is speaking to me. It's really speaking to me because this person is running and they're running towards a vehicle. So I'm feeling someone is going to take action with something that they had or were planning to put on the back burner. I'm feeling like someone is going to take action towards this particular dream or vision that they have for their life. They're tired of waiting and they're going to actually take action. And I'm hearing the saying, faith without works is dead. Faith without works is dead. When you truly have your mindset on this this particular desire of yours, when you truly have your mind aligned and your intention intact, you're going to receive this manifestation. And I'm going to repeat it. When you truly have your mind set and your intentions intact, you're going to receive this manifestation. There's a particular Capricorn. You go back and forth, back and forth with believing this desire. 
You go back and forth, back and forth with believing that you will receive this blessing. And I want to reassure you that you are worthy of this blessing. You are deserving of this blessing. And you have to be cognizant of keeping your mouth sealed because there is people that will challenge you. They will challenge you in the way of saying stuff. Do you truly think you're going to get this? Do you truly think you deserve to get this? Do not tell those people your, your um, intentions or your prayers. Now with the final card being the 10 of cups card, I am feeling that someone is going to um, be overwhelmed with joy and someone within the next 72 hours, you're going to be having fun with someone or spending time with a significant other. And speaking of this significant other with the daring energy that I was picking up earlier, this person is willing, willing to take a chance on you. And I know this reading took a turn. First, it went towards um, more of career blessings and money and abundance. But now I'm picking up on someone taking a chance towards Capricorn to get closer with you, to open up their heart to you. This could be you open up your heart to someone. You're going to take the chance and open up your heart to a particular person, even though you have been saddened and disappointed. This could be another water sign for such as a uh, Scorpio, Taurus, Pisces. And this may also be another fire sign such as a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, as well as another Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I'm picking up on a bunch of signs so this person may have a lot of signs in their chart, or you may have a lot of these signs in your chart. Whatever it is, I am feeling someone is going to fight for something that they feel that they are deserving of, and they're going to receive this by not giving up. There is a big test that you may go through, and I'm feeling a particular group of Capricorns, you're going to pass this test to receive this blessing. So I'm going to stop right here. I do feel that this reading went a lot of ways. Take what resonates, leave what does not, and hit the like and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. Capricorn, you guys have an amazing day. Bye-bye.